So welcome everyone. We like to start by creating a safe space, filling that space with light and using that light to ground ourselves. It doesn't take long. It's a wonderful technique using sacred geometry. If ever you're having a sleepless night, it's such a great tool. I used it, I used it for MRIs when they tell you don't move. Use it for all kinds of things. Even cancer treatment. So we're going to put up the sacred geometry together. Imagine that you are seated or lying down in a space of your choosing. And we are going to consider this to be a thin place, a place where the veil is very thin between this world and the spirit world. And we're going to connect with that spirit world by imagining there are four huge triangles and they're on the ground around you. There's one in the front, flat on the ground, one in the back, there's one on the right, and there's one on the left. I was given this technique when I went to Arthur Finley and I was told to share it. So here we go. We look first to the right. Imagine that you look to the right and oh, there is that triangle on the ground and you pick it up, 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 up. And it's a beautiful red. There's this red light emanating from that triangle. You look to the left and you pick up the second triangle a magnificent purple. And they fit together above your head. And then you imagine that third triangle. It's on the floor, flat behind you. And you bring it up to meet the other two. And it's a magnificent blue. And the fourth triangle in front. And you bring that triangle up. And it's like it's excited to join the other three. And they fit together perfectly and snugly above your head and you are seated in a pyramid of light. There's red light coming from the right and there's purple and blue and gold and red and purple and blue and gold and all this light begins to move around your body in a clockwise fashion moving and moving and it moves up to the crown of your head and the crown opens like a vase and down comes the light down the head and the neck and across the shoulders and down the arms and out the fingers and the light woof, continues down the torso down it goes filling filling you up with light down the legs out the soles of the feet and down into the earth, creating roots of light deep, deep in the earth. And that's you, actually, a being of light. All of us are actually beings of light. those roots that are deep in the ground, they keep us grounded and during a meditation because we're vibrational beings and we're going to take in and breathe in these vibrations and by being well grounded and safe in this pyramid of light, we can just let go and enjoy the sound. Here we go. So 
we're going to take a moment to open the heart. Yep, I know. I know it hurts. I know it's hard. But we open the heart to allow ourselves to feel the love. There we go. a good moment to breathe into the heart space Open our hearts and show us the way to peace. 
imagine you open your heart and just allow for a moment allow in the light breathe in the light out the light remember you are sitting in a pyramid of light and what you create with your imagination your cells believe it to be real it is real
remember that um, silence is an important part of sound. And that was nine minutes of opening the heart and receiving a nine minute sound bath. So it's nice to have a moment to just feel your cells vibrating. And even if you don't feel it physically, if you say to yourself, I am vibrating, my cells are lit, and this light is coming from within as well as without. There is a very special woman that I heard this week. Her name is Ingrid Honkala. And she was saying that the purpose of our lives is to remember that we are beings of light and that our mission in life is to shine that light, to shine that light in whatever way we choose. lovely ones in spirit, boy, does it set a fire in our bellies to fulfill that mission, to honor them by fulfilling the mission to shine our light in whichever way we choose. You know, it could be writing a book, it could be baking a pie, it doesn't matter. It's the act of shining your light. And that nine minute song opens the heart and fills us with light. So imagine now that we simply are able to breathe in light and breathe out light. And breathe in light. And breathe light out again. And we can tell ourselves and believe it that we are nothing but light. We can change that light, we can move that light, we can create any color to that light. Imagine if we chose to create a radiant, radiant blue light. Here we go. Radiant blue, filling your pyramid of light and filling, filling us up.
this is a perfect moment. If you have other children, siblings of your child in spirit, visualize those children and bring them into the pyramid of light with you. Into this healing light. No matter what is happening, you can always visualize your children as beings of light. Even when they're being impossible. Look beyond the human form. Bring them, bring them in the pyramid with you. And just see them as light and surround them with light. Just doing this elevates the vibration between you.
perfect moment to breathe in peace and breathe out peace. Whenever you feel yourself losing that center of peace, you can just say, show me the way, Lord. Show me the way to peace. Show me the way to peace. And just breathe in. And breathe out. And on the in-breath, we say to ourselves, I am. And on the out-breath, we say the breath. Imagine you could take all that light, the red and the purple and the blue and the gold, and just move it and circulate it around your body and energize it and fill yourself with light and vibration right to the center of every cell. This music is called DNA Repair. And it's meant to help us visualize our cells, our DNA, and bringing light and oxygen into those cells. And it's been proven this actually does have an effect on shifting ourselves on a cellular level. And whether we can prove it or not, it brings in space and light and our body feels peace. We take a moment, breathe into our cells, to all the cells of our physical body.
you took a moment to open the heart. And another moment to fill the cells with light, to talk to our DNA. Now we're going to cultivate that thin place. It's a feeling really. It's not a place because it can be anywhere. Because what we want, honestly, more than anything is to connect with our loved one. We want to hear them, feel them, smell them. We want to hug them. So for a few moments, we cultivate the space inside this pyramid of light. I'm just going to share what I see. I see that the it's like the pyramid is expanding. It's like it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. And it's like you're in a vaster space. You're still in your pyramid of light. You're still surrounded by the red and the purple and the blue and the gold, but, but the actual pyramid is getting bigger and bigger and it's like you're almost expanding. It's like you're, you're moving out in every direction. And it's as if in the distance, but it's still in this lovely, safe space. You see a point of light and you decide, hmm, you just know with no hesitation, you move towards that point of light. And as you get closer and closer, the light gets brighter and larger. As you approach, you feel yourself drawn to this light. I feel like I'm describing what happened in my near-death experience, but that's what it is. You are drawn to this light. And gently and slowly, you are enveloped in this light and you feel a sense of love and opening of the heart. And you know you know in that instant that you are loved beyond measure and that you are worthy. Wow, I am loved. I am truly, deeply loved.
and slowly in this beautiful cocoon of light you feel you are not alone you know you are surrounded there are many loved ones around you many beings of light and in this moment you can ask to put your arms around you can ask to be one with whoever you wish to be reunited with it lasts but a moment but it's precious and it's real and it opens your heart feel the light around you both filling you opening your heart you can feel the love connection Oof. those very high vibration encounters sometimes they last but a moment you feel yourself back in the pyramid of light and I say thank you for the sacred geometry we know everything that happens that is thought and said and done while it's up is magnified and now we bring down the gold side and we bring down the blue and the purple and the red but it feels like all that light and all that vibration is still around us And I can tell you, the more you do this, the more you feel it. It becomes so real. And you may feel huge energy in your hands. The light coming out, you can just take a quick... A moment to put your hands on your heart and I feel such gratitude for everyone I it's just went way too fast way too fast Oof. I just want to say thank you for joining me tonight and I hope you've enjoyed this meditation that it's brought you something of value to you thank you thank you
do. I could go on. They love us so much. It's just incredible. Yeah. Thank you all so much. I send you all vibrations of love. And I'll see you again. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just vibrating. Thank you so much. Yeah. Vibrating. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you.